Hi all and welcome back to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and our video user guide for APT where we're going to take a look at the darkness clock and the deep sky darkness calculator. Now this should be a nice quick video so let's get straight into it. So the darkness clock is this little one over on the left showing you the moon phase and your darkness over here. Um, I won't use that one, I'll just double click on it and bring up the deep sky darkness calculator which mirrors that, it shows you the moon phase. Um, and your darkness times. The only difference between what you see here and over here is this little tab at the bottom which shows you whereabouts in your day you are and it will flash when an event is coming up. So if the moon's setting or rising, uh, if you're entering one of the twilights etc, it will flash just to let you know that something's going to happen shortly. I think it's about 15 minutes beforehand it starts flashing. But what you get up here, uh, the darkness clock is centered on midday, uh, sorry midnight um, so these big boxes at the end on each end, that's your daylight hours. Uh, the white line is your moon. When it's there, the moon's up, and when it's not, it's down. Um, the light area in the middle here, the lighter one, is your civil and nautical twilight. Uh, that covers both of those. And the lighter one is your astronomical twilights on each end of the night. And of course, if it's black in the middle with nothing on top of it, that's your actual deep sky darkness. Right at the top you'll see the date that it's looking at, so tonight it's looking at me for the 9th and the 10th of December, uh, Saturday, Sunday night, I'm not going to get out because we've got storms forecast tonight, it's nice. Um, then you've got your sun and your twilight timings listed there, then you've got all your moon information. Um, what time your actual deep sky darkness starts and finishes and how much time that is. So I've got 5 hours and 23 minutes because it's coming up to the middle of summer here. Uh, very short nights. And then under that you've got your narrowband imaging because you can run that through when the moon is actually up and everything else. Uh, it gives you a little bit of extra time most of the nights. Uh, today it's a whole, you know, not even 30 minutes. But it is possible to, to do it there. But that's for that one. And then you have a search feature down here. Um, this is quite handy. You can either select it, you know, just a night that's pretty close to where you are at the moment. You can go back to another one or to a formal one, and it'll show you the changes. Like uh, on the 10th of December, I get the same for my narrowband and deep sky because the moon's actually set. Only a whole five hours and 50 minutes. But what it can also do, if you need to reset that, just delete the date out of there and press enter, and it'll go back to the current day's date. But say I want to find a night I can get my one-shot colour cameras out and do a, a good long run of uh, darkness. Say I want to go for six hours. And I just click find. And from the date selected in the box here, it'll search up to 60 days ahead to find a night that meets those requirements. So for six hours, the next night I get of six hours of total deep sky darkness is on the 10th of January. Um, if I'd gone any longer than that it won't find one because my nights are going to be too short so I'll go back to today's date and I'll set this at say 6.5 hours okay and I'll click on find and it'll look through for the next 60 days oh I have 60 days where I won't get six and a half hours of deep sky darkness so you can click OK but what you can do you can search further ahead by simply leaving the date set in there so this is going to do 60 days from the 7th of February so I click fine and there we go on the 8th of February I get my uh, six and a half hours of night so that's how that works there and it's quite good so I'll just reset that again and of course the dates the times you get when you use this search is only for actual deep sky darkness it doesn't affect the narrowband timings or anything like that um, because they're not depending on when the moon's up but um, it will still display them for that night okay so that's the deep sky darkness calculator and your darkness clock in the left over here um, APT also has a, an app version of this for your iOS or Android phone um, this is mine for my Android phone and basically it's saying it shows you the same information you have here uh, you can select whether to display narrowband time or just the deep sky darkness time up here um, it doesn't have a search feature but you can go now or you can go next or previous or today's date and search through manually 
um, if you click on the little map symbol up here it opens your locations you can store four different locations if you like I'm not giving you my home locations thank you very much but uh, yeah <laughs> you can store them and set them as your current one or, or you can set it as a specific location clicking on the format button that simply uh, changes the format for your display uh, like longitude and latitude from the standard decimal that uses here to uh, degrees minutes and seconds instead that's all that one does um, save and recalc is if you select a different position it will save it and then go back and change your settings up the top here so it displays for the correct location and if you click more um, what that gives you is it gives you a lot more precise information about your current location um, I'm going to give you the country you're in and the country code so I'm in Australia so it says Australia and AU it'll give you your admin area which is your state uh, your region your province province or whatever you have in your country uh, it'll tell you what city you're in or what city it's counted as it'll even give you the postcode or zip code of where you are if it can and then it'll also give you the actual address where you are um, I don't know how accurate it is but it's pretty accurate because I'm looking at mine at the moment and it tells me where I am um, it'll tell you whether your daylight savings is in effect at the current time and even your altitude so that comes in handy for a bit of information if you want to know exactly where you are but it's quite handy to have on your phone for if you're out and you haven't got a computer with you you can do some calculations on what you can do on various nights I'll leave a link in the description where you can uh, find the links to download the app for your particular phone but that's it for the darkness clock and the deep sky darkness calculator something handy in APT and on your phone so I'll win this one here uh, again wishes all clear skies and I'll talk to you later take care bye